Designer labels are everywhere. Forbes contributor Wendy Goff bought this bag at a consignment store in San Francisco. It says it's a Louis Vuitton, but is it really? How can shoppers know if they have a real item or a fake one? Susan Scafidi heads the Fashion Law Institute at Fordham Law School and has a website, Counterfeit Chic. Counterfeits are intended to fool the eye, not necessarily the fingertips. So when you start running your fingers over things that ought to be leather, but somehow feel oily or slippery, rather sticky. than dry, sticky, rather than dry, you start to worry. In this particular bag, the majority of the bag is not made of leather. It's made of a coated canvas, which is something you would need to know about Vuitton, about this particular bag, but the details should be leather. You can also look at the hardware. Does the hardware feel hollow? How light or heavy is it? If there is an imprint on the hardware, should there be an imprint on the hardware? Did the original have a logoed imprint? If there is a logoed imprint, is it the right one? Is it spelled correctly? You'd be surprised how many little details people can miss. The stitching on this bag, a bag isn't bad. Underneath, we have uh, some, some double stitching, some back stitching uh, that is a little crooked. We can look at the, at the bottom to see if things are even. We can look at the matching of pattern along the seams. And we can remember that a company like Louis Vuitton, which has great respect for its own logos and trademarks, won't cut them. We don't see them cut here, but we don't have perfect matching either. This is a bag that I don't know what Wendy paid for it, uh, but might not have been worth whatever that was. Uh, although we can, of course, can never be absolutely certain. Now, you have your own little collection <laughs> of real and fake, so let's look at those. I do. This was a collaboration between their creative director, Mark Jacobs, and the Japanese artist Kashi Murakami celebrating Japanese cherry blossoms. We expect leather here. In this case we have leather. Run your fingers along it and you'll feel how dry it is to the touch. Perfect straight stitching, no unnecessary double stitching. Uh, when we look inside the bag, we have the exactly as expected, the lining, and we have a statement that says Louis Vuitton Paris made in Spain which this line actually was. That was where they manufactured this particular group. Whereas, if you look at this one, which is very similar in many ways, it even has a tag. If you have the wherewithal to copy an entire bag, you probably have a printer at home as well. So you can, you can pretty much counterfeit the tag as well. But if you look inside here, it says Louis Vuitton Paris made in France. It wasn't. This one was, certainly wasn't. And neither would the original of this particular style have been made in France. And if you look closely at the cherry blossoms, you can see a little bit of the brown toile underneath under showing through the pink, which you would not have in the case of the original. You'd have a, a more defined and refined line, and you would have more opaque printing. You can perhaps see that even more clearly on this one, which has the same problem They've actually colored outside the lines a little bit on their cherry blossoms. You see a tiny bit of the light pink outside of the darker pink. And in fact, it is by comparison, the wrong shade of pink. Again, something that it so helps to have them next to each other, but at the very least, you want to go and see them in, in, in the flesh, if you will, beforehand.